Good morning. My name is Angela Waldron and I am the Registrar at the Farnsworth Art Museum. I am also the curator of Transforming the Ordinary, Women in American Book Cover Design, currently on view through March 21st, 2021. And the book that I have for you today is a book that's included in the exhibition, um, The Marble Fawn by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Uh, this cover was designed by Boston artist Sarah Wyman Whitman, and her dates are 1842 through 1904. The design that you see here shows four anemones and they are connected through the spine to the back of the cover. And this is what I call a wraparound cover design uh, where the design extends to the back. And here you can see, this is on, on the verso, Whitman's monogram. Out of the hundreds and hundreds of books that she designed, she only signed eight of them. There's a possible ninth, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. This book is considered by many Whitman scholars to be her finest achievement. This was what they call a holiday edition, and many book publishers issued holiday editions around the holidays or special gifts. This book was used by many tourists as a cultural guide to Roman ruins. Even though it was not really meant for that, it's, it's a story, but many tourists used this book as a you know guidebook to the sites. And you can see that the four and Anemones, they waver just very slightly onto the back and this is a definite arts and crafts feel to it because even though this is machine stamped the lines just by having them uh, slightly wavering it gives the illusion of movement which was something that Whitman often did in her designs. Now, the book also has dual meanings. According to one Whitman scholar, the anemones serve both as a skewomorph in that their presence suggests early book strap work, such as hinges and clasp. These are just meant to allude to what was once a functional item on a book. Secondly, as an aesthetic tract, the motif has been described as, I quote, a design that alludes or mirrors the reader's experience with the book content, allowing the design to become a work of art in its own right through a symbolic communication. The four anemones represent the four characters in the story. There's a story of forsaken love between the Count and between Miriam and a tragic death. And in floriography, which is the language of flowers and Greek mythology and Christianity, the red anemone symbolizes death or forsaken love. I hope that you have an opportunity to come and view the show. Uh, there is a catalog um, which is uh, pending, which should be released by the end of this month to accompany the exhibition. Thank you very much.